Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and we are using War Gods. So, I have a lot to talk about, so let's get it started. Alright. One. Episode two of Gaim is there. So, it's up right now. Go ahead and click it. Go ahead and watch it. Alright? So, wanted to get that one out of the way. Two. This hand is kind of shitty, and I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do with it. And three. Um... I don't really want to do anything because I don't want to reveal what I'm playing, so we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, three. Uh, shit. Oh, there's Common Rider Fives Question Air. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go ahead and click that. And go, what the fuck is that? Okay. That's fine. Uh, you can go ahead, click that, and it will... Uh, it's pretty much asking you, hey, should I post up Common Rider Foz? You know, just tell me. Yeah, sure. Or, no, don't do that. Okay? Uh, five. I apologize for everybody who wanted to watch, uh, Daily Duels. Uh, I mean, not Daily Duels. Vitamin Y Live on Monday. I apologize. I was not there. Uh, I was not home. I was playing the, the, the Pokemon, and, you know... You know, when you just, you, you know, when you just, you know, you just get into Pokemon, and you, and, and you, you just, ah, uh, Pokemon X and Y, game so good, alright, so I apologize, I'm sorry, you know, it, it was dumb, uh, it was like, I got out of class at like 12.30, and then 12.30 came 1.30, which came 2, which came 3, 4, 5, I think I left at like around 5, so, I apologize for that. Definitely sorry. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So, here we go into the usual scene now since I got that all out of the way. <laughs> no, that's fine. Use Railer. Don't care. There is no effect to even activate, so thank you for negging yourself. Unless you have some kind of plan to have a spellcaster in the graveyard. Nope. So thanks for that. Go ahead. I don't even know what the hell you were thinking. Um. Shit. What am I trying to say? Uh, we're gonna get into the usual thing. What I tell you about Monday. So Monday, of course, because we record this ahead of time. No, that's fine. Uh, I have history and I have psychology. Alright, so, history class, uh, we pretty much just go over the American Revolution. We're, we're, we're slowly chugging our way through the American Revolution. That's essentially what we are doing. Um, you know, nothing too big. Okay, is that why you want to drop the effect of Hailer? Just so you can do that? I mean, <sighs> yeah. okay. So, we haven't really figured out what you're doing, but sure. You know. Okay. Now what? You don't even have an extra deck, so. Okay. That's fine. You know, I, I see him summoning all these little spellcasters and shit, but what are you doing with them? You want a kamikaze with me? Uh. I'm gonna activate Book of Moon. Is that okay, sir? Or are you gonna activate your wisdom? Yep. Wisdom is fine. It's called your but you can it's not spells or traps, it's just spells. So you're unaffected by spells, so when you attack me, you're gonna get this D prison up your butt, and you're just gonna be like, Oh no! Not the D prison! I wasn't ready for that. Oh, I guess he's not gonna attack. I could've swore he was gonna attack. Like shit. I thought he was gonna take his foot, stick it up my ass, and go for game. No, he wasn't gonna do that. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Sasana Dolo can attack everybody. Everybody get it! Get the D. Too bad you already used your Veiler. Oh, stack the Quinn. Duh. Uh, give me Yamato. Yeah. 
Alright, so, uh, pretty much history was the usual boring-ass, jewel-ass shit. It is. It's really boring. Uh, I've walked up into... Hacker. How did I hack? How did, how can I possibly hack? Okay, sure. Uh, be right back. Alright, we're back, so we're not doing that salty guy anymore. Hacker. How, how do I hack? How do I hack? Come on. How did I hack the duel? <laughs> you know, I'm just playing the game. Everything, all the plays I did were legit, and if I tried to do anything that wasn't legit, obviously I would have been stopped by, you know. Are we going against Infernities? We probably are. There's not a lot of decks that play Armageddon Knight, except for my Ubel deck. Which, if he's playing Ubel, then that's awesome, but... No, we're going, we're going against Archfiends or Infernities. One of the two. Which I think it's probably Infernities. In which case, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, waste your guys' time. Because you know how Infernities are. The advantage of going first is uncanny. Now, set all the back row. Set it all. Then go, special summon. Alright. So you didn't set all the back row, so we might actually be just going up against, uh, uh, Archfiends, which would be a much more interesting duel than Infernities, because they're just going to triple barrier me, and that's not going to be any fun. Alright, after that, we had Psychology, and I have a Psychology test coming up. Seems like I just had one, but she's like, oh, yeah, next Monday, a week from now, Psychology test again. It's like, again? Like, okay. Sure. See? Advantage is going first. If I would have went first, I would have solemn warning him. But instead, he went first, he saw him warning me. So, there we go. But you know what, that's fine. You can pay 2,000 white points. It's not like I really needed Mizukachi anyway. Mika Mikazuchi. Oh shit, I just said his name right. Mikazuchi. That's his name. I have always been saying Mikahashi, Kakashi, Kyle. <laughs> no, it's was like Kakashi, Kyle. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Yep, we're going to get charged screens. Alright, that's much more interesting to do against than, um... Infernities, so, yeah, I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm not doing that deck. Um, what else I going to say? Uh, if you guys are wondering, whatever happened to the girl in gray? Uh, it's not going so hot. Alright, so I decided that since I'm unable to show up to class early and talk to her, and she's unable to stay after and talk, I decided that the best course of action would be to... Uh, the reason why I did that is because his monster is too strong for me, and I pretty much need to get this shit off the field. So yeah, that's the reason why that happened. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and summon Quinn. Do you have a response, sir? No. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and si hit you for 16. You know, the monster was too strong for me. It was too high for both of these guys. I mean, of course I didn't know I was in a dark, dark hole, but hey, you know. Um. Yeah, I, I, so I decided to write her a note. I know, like, Daniel, what are you in, like, middle school? Uh, I thought it was the best course of action. I didn't want to risk, you know, talking to her in class and, you know, uh, getting us both in trouble. So I decided that this would have been the best course of action. So I pretty much show up to class. The seat that's next to her is already taken. So I decide, hey, sit next, but, I mean, sit behind her, all right? So I sit behind her, I take out the note, I tap her on her shoulder, and she pretty much just shrugs it off, like, not even turning around and seeing what I want at all, as if she knew exactly, uh, what I wanted from her, you know, that I obviously wanted her attention, uh, you know, if she doesn't want me bothering her, then I would rather her just, you know, not, you know, just simply just be like, hey, don't bother me, don't get involved with me, I don't want to get to know you, you know. I'd much rather have that than, you know, have her just, you know, not do anything. Omega would be the smarter play right now, but I really want to get a Yamato right now, so I'm going to risk it all. I'm going to put the turtle so he won't be able to target me with a deep person. And then I will get a Yamato. Yes. And then this guy's like, hacker! <laughs> um... So, I'm not sure, but pretty much, I never got to give her the note. <sighs> yeah. I figured out her last name.
I mean, what's the point? Pay 500, press summon an arch I mean, when this card is sent in Grave Run anyway, he would get into effect, so it really doesn't even matter, so. Uh. Oh, it's really no point. You're gonna get destroyed anyway, so. I'm done, I'll pass it to you. Uh, so, I still have the note, so I'm. And I am gonna read it for you guys. I know I'm, you're getting way personal, dude, but hey, I'm gonna read it for you. Because I love you guys. Alright? So, uh, I actually got her name, her full name, and stalkerish me. I know, oh, shame on me. I just had to look up on Facebook, you know, because why not? I mean, that's what you do when you figure out someone's name. And I figured out that she actually graduated from the same high school as me. Except one year younger. I graduated in 12, she graduated in 13. So, I mean, that's something that we have in common. That's something we could talk about is high school, you know? So I find that really interesting. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to actually give her this note and maybe we can talk a little bit. But right now, not looking like it. It's not looking so hot, guys. So, yeah. Alright, so he's probably going to make a B-Rose and blow the hell out of me. He's going to give me the blowjob. Because, <laughs> right? B Rose? Ooh, okay. That's fine. I got Yamato. And you already use your normal summon, so. You know. It was an okay play, but it just wasn't the best play. They were the best of plays, they were the worst of plays. And that one was a, not a best of plays. Alright, so I have the, the note right in my hand. It's just a piece of paper with some writing on it, so I'm just going to read it to you. Alright, so let me begin. Hey, sorry to be giving you a note as if we're in middle school, but this is the only way to talk to you. With me having a class before this one and being unable to show up early and with you having to head home after class, it's really difficult to talk to you. Instead of trying to talk to you in class and risk both of us getting in trouble with Professor Sala, this option is the best. Just wanted to say that I think you're very beautiful and I would like to get to know you better. I'm hoping your personality is just as pretty as your appearance. If it's not too much trouble, you can text me. My number is I'm not going to give you guys my number right now. <laughs> All right, so let's make that clear. All right, no number for you guys. Maybe later. I don't know, but I'm not going to give you my cell phone number. She's special, so she gets my number. You guys jelly. <laughs> um. So yeah, if you have just a second of time, uh. Could we talk after class? You told me that you walk home. I could give you a ride if you want. I'm a really nice guy, and I'm hoping you will give me some of your time. That's all the note said. And yet, she still didn't give me the time of day to, you know, as if she just straight up didn't want to read the note, as if she knew what it was going to say, and it definitely sucks, you know. So I'm hoping that maybe uh, I'll have an opportunity to, uh, you know, give her this note. I mean, what, tell me what you guys think. I mean, I don't see her tell... Uh, Wednesday, so pretty much we got an entire day for us to revise this note together, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to give it to her. So yeah. So um, after class ended, uh, once again I really didn't get a chance to. What is this? Oh, it's Pokemon. I thought it was Mirror Force, and I was just like, oh, Mirror Force got uh, Black Rose. I was right. Uh, I mean. Are you really about that life, man? Really? You're actually gonna try this. You're actually gonna try this. I mean, might as well book a moon, you shit. So you can just sit your ass down, fool. Uh, after that, I didn't get a chance to talk to her after class. Of course, she has to head home. And, um... I... Headed over to the Yu-Gi-Oh tables, because I was like, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I feel like playing some Yu-Gi-Oh. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to. But, it was not Yu-Gi-Oh Day. No, 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 no. It was Pokemon Day. Oh my god, so many friends are just popping up on my on my 3DS, just like, friend, 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 friend. Everybody and their mother was playing Pokemon. There were like seven people there playing Pokemon. Everybody was playing it. You know, we were just... You know, trade Pokemon and stuff, and it was just great. It was just fun, and 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 once again, I apologize for not being there for um, uh, daily duels. But like I said, you know, so we're gonna activate Quinn. Oh, right, it has to be face up. Yep, face up guard. Yep, 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 yep. I was mistaken. My bad. Uh. 
I'm going to actually summon the crane. Or actually, I use the crane. I set this. Uh, common knowledge, what? Alright, well. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get over that. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure if I can get over that because, uh, you know, it's flip, flip, flip back face down. So, I'm right, gonna go ahead and turn this into a Sasana Noel. And we're gonna go ahead and activate the effect, get the card on. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, got me music, me, 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 Kazuchi. Damn it, I had it and I lost it. And I got it back, me, Kazuchi. Um, alright, so, okay, okay, so you're like that. I wasn't sure, I didn't want him to be like, oh, well, I'm set, then I flip back up, here we go, so, uh, you know. Um, I'm done with this turn, so, pass to you. And I don't really have a lot of plays left, you know. So, um, if there's any opportunity for him to turn this duel around on me, it would be this turn right here. This turn right here, because next turn I'm actually gonna have some plays, but right now I really don't, you know. So I mean, I can always do this, put it back, and then go pop you again. But hey, eh. um, shit. Uh, so there was actually this girl there that I was talking to. I know, like Daniel, you're already trying to get, you know, flirt with this girl, and you're already talking to another girl. You're such a pig. No, it's not like that. This girl I previously talked to her before. Uh, of course, I need to give her a nickname, so you know who I'm talking about when I refer to her. Uh, we're gonna call her... Friend Girl. Friend Girl. We're gonna call her Friend Girl because, uh... If I could ever make her my girlfriend, she'd be perfect girlfriend material. Like, perfect. Alright? Because, you know, let me explain. She loves anime. You know? But we sat there and we talked about, um, uh, Sword Art Online. I mean, not Sword Art Online. Shit! The other one. Attack on Titans. Uh, she plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, she plays Yu-Gi-Oh. I know. Ooh. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She plays Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, girl who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. So fine, so fine. Uh, uh, e oh, it's bit. No, it's in the graveyard, isn't it? Hold on. Let me see. It's in, it's in, it's in the graveyard, right? Oh, no. It's still attached to me. Oh, I detached the wrong card. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, that's fine. Because I get to summon Mikazuchi to save the day. Bam! You know, if I would have detached that, I would have activated this, put it back, and then during damage, that just went bam! And hit him, you know. Oh, this is probably a game. Because I can just go to Tanky! No! Yes! Bear! Summon bear. Attack. No. Sure. I don't care. Set that. Game. No. Alright. Uh, we're not going to do another duel. I'm almost done talking. Alright. So. She plays yu gi -Oh. She's in the anime. And she's into Pokemon. And she's fairly cute, you know, I wouldn't give her a 10 out of 10, but she's, she's fairly cute, um, at first I didn't, really didn't think of anything of her, which is why I, I could easily be myself, you know, I wasn't like, oh, this girl's really pretty, don't, don't look like an idiot, you know, I was being myself, and she's really fun to get along with, so I was just, you know, having fun joking around with her, of course I had my Pokemon X, and she was just like, oh, I don't have a 3DS, and I don't have a Pokemon game, so I'm just like, hey, you wanna play, you know, wanna play with mine for a little while? The game! The game! Shit! Uh, makes it sound awkward, you know, like, hey, hey, girl, you wanna play with mine? Uh, <laughs> dirty, dirty! Stop! Bad! Anyway, I'm like, hey, you wanna play with my Pokemon game for a while? So, uh, I let her experience uh, just a taste of the game until, you know, she gets hers. Uh, you let her, like, ride around the, ride on the bike, she, you know, trained to my Pokemon for me while I was, uh, you know, busy dueling. And, um... She uh, played the little Pokemon on me and had fun with that, so that was fun, you know. So I got to, you know, share my uh, you know, Pokemon experience with her. 
And, you know, the longer that I really sat there and started to know this, get to know this girl, the more I realized that, you know, I could actually see myself dating this girl, you know? And then, a guy showed up and asked, uh, like, he was like, hey, give me the deck box, and she took uh, the deck box and handed it to him, and I'm just like, shit, this is her boyfriend. Crap. Like, really? No, please, no. Please, God, no. No, like, I totally went, like, the office on that shit. In my head. I didn't sit there and scream out loud. That'd be awkward. But in my mind, I'm like, shit. And then, you know, I kind of, like, didn't say anything about it. Because unlike the other girls I've been doing lately, for some of this reason, I didn't be just say, hey, like, hey, you got a boyfriend? Which I said I was going to start doing, but for this time, I didn't. It was odd. Uh, I should have, but I didn't. So, uh, I just kind of shrugged off my shoulders. I'm like, hey, she has a boyfriend. So, as the day progresses, uh, she gets a phone call, and she answers her phone, and it was her mom, and her mom was saying, like, hey, you, you gotta come home. So, she says, she gets off the phone, and she's talking to the guy, and she's like, hey, mom says we gotta go home. And I'm like, oh, snap. I asked her, is he your brother? And she's like, yeah, we're siblings. And, of course, I'm like, wow, okay. And she's like, well... You know, you couldn't tell him, like, huh? And I look at him, I look at her, look at him, look at her. They have a little bit the same, that look the same. But of course, the problem with that and me saying that they look the same is that she is Asian and he is Asian. So I can be like, yeah, you know what, you look the same. But then I kind of be racist, you know? That awkward moment where the Asians actually look alike because they're siblings and not because they're Asian. You know? But, yeah, they're siblings, so... Not sure if she has a boyfriend still, but hey, that's not a boyfriend. That's her brother, and I know her brother. You know, uh, you know, we're pretty cool friends. I wouldn't say we're friends, but we talk. Uh, I'd say we're acquaintances. You know, I'm not sure of his name, but we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, we talk about Pokemon and such. So uh, we're acquaintances. Uh, that's good. So of course they had to leave, and before uh, they left, I asked her, "Is like, hey, can I get your cell phone number?" And she wasn't reluctant at all. Like these, like these last few girls I've been talking to, you know, one girl didn't give me her cell phone number. One girl gave me her number, and never texted me. The other girl I'm having a hard time talking to. But this girl, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, friend girl, you know, she wasn't reluctant at all. She just said, "Yeah, sure, my number is." Blah, 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 So, put the number in my phone, and I sent her a text, you know, and she was like, and I'm like, oh, didn't get your name. I talked to this girl for about three hours, and didn't even get her name, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I didn't get your name, and she's like, oh, it's fine. We were talking about Pokemon, you know how it is, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we just got way into the Pokemon. So, uh, she gave me her, her name, her number, I sent her off a text, and then when she got the text, she's like, hey, I got the text, but I never got your name. You know, which is kind of funny because she was sitting there playing on my Pokemon game, which, on my Pokemon game, my name is my name, because I didn't want to, like, do, like, some kind of, like, avatar, because if people try to add me, and they'll be like, hey, are you so-and-so? So, of course, I'm Daniel. So, I'm like, yeah, my name is Daniel, and she added me to her phone, and, you know, she left. And I haven't texted her since, I'm not sure if I should text her. Of course, uh, when I'm recording this, this is, like, 8 at night. So I saw her a few hours ago. I haven't texted her since. So I don't think I haven't texted her since in the time that this video goes up on YouTube. Because that's not the case. Maybe I texted her. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't see the future. But I, as of this video, 8 o'clock at night, no, I have not texted her. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Should I take this note and give it to the girl? Or should I just redirect towards... Uh, this towards fun girl. So, girl in gray, and keep trying, or friend girl, and, you know, see what happens with that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. I mean, if you were to ask me and be like, oh, complete horn dog, and say, hey, Daniel, who's cuter? Girl in gray or friend girl? I would definitely say girl in gray. Girl in gray is cuter. But, uh, who do I automatically just get along with more? Uh, obviously, friend girl, because we have so much in things in common compared to girl in gray who won't even give me the time of day to even talk to her to get to know her. The only thing I know about her is her name and that she walks home. That's it. That's it. Compared to uh, friend girl, I know what deck she uses in real life. I know that she likes Pokemon. I know what anime she likes. And, you know, 
we were just getting, you know, we were just really hitting it off, you know. So I definitely consider my friend, you know. So I don't know. Huh, <sighs> don't know what to do. So you guys tell me. Uh, you know, help me with my love life. <laughs> And I'd love to share things with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Please, just go ahead and go to that Kamen Rider Foz video and just tell me. Or you can tell me in this video. If you're like, yeah, I want to see Foz. Or no, I don't want to see Foz. Or no, don't do it. You know, because it's pretty much replacing Pokemon Quartz. Quartz is over. Um, for those of you who want more Rogue Legacy, I am sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Every time I go on my freaking friends' house, I keep on forgetting about the Xbox controller. I cannot play Rogue Legacy without the controller. Alright, let's clear that up. I can't play with the mouse and keyboard. I tried. I suck. So, yeah. Um, I need a controller. So, next time I go to my friend's house, definitely grit the controller before anything. Before I leave, before... As soon as I get there, just take the controller and put it in my bag. Definitely. So, I won't forget it. So, sorry for the gap of Rogue Legacy. So, I apologize about that. The quartz is over, so we need a, a series to replace quartz. I explained all about it in, in the Foz video. Go ahead, click it. Go there. Tell me what you guys think. So, thank you guys for all the support, thank you guys for watching, and, you know, I am just love sharing with you guys. I'm hoping that, uh, maybe, uh, eventually I'll get, uh, big enough to be successful on YouTube. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and, you know, everything's just going fine in my life. Alright, one awkward thing, and I just came up with my mind. She knows I play, you know, I told her that I have a YouTube channel, but I haven't told her my YouTube channel, though. But, if I tell her my YouTube channel, she comes here, and then she starts watching my videos, and she realizes that this friend girl I'm talking to her about is her, things might get awkward. Alright, so, I'll leave it like that. Alright, so if you're watching this, friend girl, and you know that I'm talking about you, I think you're cute, I'm interested in you, and let's get to know each other. There we go. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with someone else.